Well done here, boys. We expected so much that the plunderstorm will be... From Norwich, Thermidor. The heaviest in the field with its huge pincers at the front of the lobster-shaped three-millimetre alloy shell. Cycle helmet and all. Start pedalling, boys, otherwise you could be on your bike. We're Team Lobster. My name's Dave. This is Eli. This is Ian. This is our robot Thermidor. We've got steel claws on the front, a spike, the wheels off the metro, and we've got a cutting disc on the rear. Robot ears, stand by. There, the Plunderstorm team. Mike Onslow, the captain of sculptor and mould maker, he has his own business. And Thermidor. Three. With two, David Harding and one, Ian Harvey at the controls. Two, eight. So will Plunderstorm live up to their attitude and their boasts? Thermidor, what a great design, the lobster shape. And what problems here again for Plunderstorm? Right at the start, they seem to have steering problems, design problems. Well, they have attitude. Will Thermidor leave them with a few hats to be chewed up? Will those caps and sunglasses and the attitude and boasts all mean nothing here for Plunderstorm because they're not moving? And in come the house robots. <laughs> Plunderstorm accused of being chickens last time around. Well, cluck, cluck, boys, you're doing nothing here. In comes Dead Metal. Oh, Mike Onslow, Ken Burton, Brian Kilburn. What's happened to you again here, boys? We expected so much. There's the camera on Killalot as Dead Metal backs away. In comes Matilda again, the camera on Killalot recording every grisly detail of the demise of Plunderstorm. Plunderstorm? It's not even a shower. Well, the blows are, are raining down under a, a hail of blows from Shunt. It's a cloudy future for Plunderstorm, that's for certain. It's snow joke for them, and the weather forecast is that the Plunderstorm will be swiftly snuffed out and there will be sunny skies ahead for Thermidor. That's the end of Plunderstorm again. A cease. Plunderstorm in the pit. Now Thermidor can get his claws into round two. Thermidor did good. Yeah, he did well. We're pleased. Very pleased. Good. Are you still in shock, aren't you? You're round two material now in Robot Wars. OK? Yeah. Good. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you. Wants to be a rocket scientist. Well, Three. will they get into orbit off the front Two. shovel of Scutter's Revenge, One. I wonder? Activate. Thermidor with the glaring eyes and the lobster pincers on the attack. They have a cycle helmet in the front as well, but Scutter's Revenge has that huge front bulldozer blade and plenty of power. The starter motors from 2.9 litre V6 engines. Oh, behave, Scutter's Revenge, says the message on the back. Well, Thermidor wants to get it into its claws and then push towards a CP7, but it's being pushed towards the pit itself. Cease. And the lobster is in the net and caught. And it's Scutter's Revenge who go through. Thermidor gets thrown into the pot of boiling water. Scutter's Revenge is through to the next round. I wonder what a Scutter is. Let's hear it for Scutter's Revenge. What happened? Uh, we just... Apart from the obvious, <laughs> what just... happened from your point of view? We just didn't have enough traction. They, they beat us. There's lobster a la pit, which we never expected. No, no but... Well, never mind. mind. <laughs> what an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Has it been big fun? Yeah. Good. Well, that's what matters. That's the most important thing. And will we see you again, do you think? Yeah. Will you make a bigger, better lobster for us? Yeah. OK, we'll look forward to that next time. Thank you very much for Lobster Thermidor. Thank Sadly, you. Lobster a la pit. Yep. <laughs>